welcome back to the Smuggler in the Blind, episode 12. We appear to be done on Alderaan. Um, okay. So I guess we're just going to speak to each other. Because literally, it, it was what? I managed to complete Alderaan in the last episode, for crying out loud. It usually takes like two episodes to finish a planet. But still, Risha, hello. You got House Turan schematic. Perfect. That wasn't too bad, was it? Well... That Sidonia was really something. Is she your type, Captain? Interesting. She always seemed a little cold-hearted to me. Your next delivery is to take that head in the jar to a sniveling little stuffed shirt named Pima Ahuff. Pima is at House Alda's estate. Uh... You'll have to sneak through some tough battle zones to get there. Of course, I remember her saying now that we had two deliveries we needed to do. Of course. I'm hoping for a good fight. You won't be happy until you've caused an interstellar incident, will you? Can't wait to ditch that creepy head. I swear its eyes follow me around the cargo hold. This is one delivery I recommend keeping covered. Let's not upset the locals any more than we need to. Good luck, Captain. Okay, well, I'll take that, and I'll reach level 28. Thank you very much. Ooh, I've gained some influence. Lovely. How can you see its eyes, Corso? I mean, I, I, I can't... Uh-oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, okay. Now I see his eyes. Yeah, let's get rid of that as soon as possible. Is someone bothering you? Type ignore. <laughs> yeah, because I wish I could do that to every single credit spammer. No! I need to go right there! No! Oh, I'm landing here anyway. Oh, well that's just great. Why did I get on my mount when... How did the hell did that fit through the door? How the... See, now there is where I would crash. But because, of course, you know, the whole clipping thing, I can fit this, th <laughs> fit this whole mount <laughs> through the door. Okay, then. Uh, hi. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Need to get rid of the, uh... How, how do I do it? Is it shift, control, Z? No, oh. Control, Z. Ha Control you. There we go. Yeah, sorry, I need to get rid of the whole thingy because, yeah, didn't want that appearing throughout the cutscene because it would ruin the cutscene. Guided tours of House Alder's Royal Museum are closed until further notice. There's a head behind you. Scoot along and don't be a bother. Otherwise, you'll answer to security. You want this head in a jar or not? I most certainly do not. Get that disgusting thing out of my sight. Uh, I mean, okay. really, what sort of buffoon brings a counterfeit head and expects payment? Uh, what? House Alder has already obtained the head of Darth Bandon, thank you very much. It was genetically authenticated by one of my conservators yesterday. Ah, uh, hey, excuse me? You're being a fool. How dare you? House Alder does not make mistakes. Cadrath? Cadrath, come here. Yes, noble curator. How may I serve your impeccable rectitude? Where is Nava? I want her to run the genetic authenticator on this head and prove it's a fake. I haven't seen Nava since she authenticated the other head yesterday, noble curator. I sent a message to her holo, but she never replied. I need you to test this head for me, Cadrath. I'd really rather not. It's quite ugly. It is, isn't it? Cadrath. Perform a genetic authentication on this head at once. Compare the results to the head we received yesterday. I beg your patience, noble curator. This process will take some time. I'm afraid we have a slight problem. This head is a 100% genetic match for the Sith Lord, Darth Bandon. Boom! I retested the head Neva verified yesterday. And it does not appear anywhere in the genetic authenticator's database. <laughs> Tell me who delivered that fake head. The same man who promised he could obtain it. Captain Skovic, this is Noble Kill. Oh, Ahoff, really? I demand that you return the Arcanian hyperdrive at once. The head you bought it with is a counterfeit. Oh, sorry, Pimi. I have a strict no-refunds policy. Hey, Captain. Hey. You're a little late to the party. Sadly. 
I should have known you were behind this, Skavik. I promised you'd regret crossing me. Hope you don't mind, Pimi, but Nava's taken an early retirement. She's too gorgeous for life in a museum. What? You... You... Menace! You corrupted that girl! Wasn't that hard, trust me. You won't have much use for women once me and Huey get done with you, Skavik. You still got that giant virus sword? What are you trying to compensate for, kid? He just wants his torchy back. <laughs> Sorry, Corso, but that's a grown-up weapon. You just put out your eye. <laughs> Wish I had a hollow of your face right now, Captain. That expression is just priceless. Have fun eating my vapor trails. This is unthinkable. Skavik has committed a grievous affront to a householder. I was promised payment for this head, your worship. The hyperdrive was to be your payment. It's an extraordinary apparatus, custom built by one of Arcania's most brilliant engineers. Skavik received the Arcanian hyperdrive at the spaceport yesterday. If he's still there, he must not have finished installing it. Skavik cannot leave Alderan without a functioning hyperdrive. Hurry, catch him before he escapes! You bring in the you you you. Okay, you're not leaving the head here. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I don't really want to be carrying it around. Can you not just hide it somewhere? And I don't mean in your jacket. Also, what? Why? Why can't he leave? Without without functioning hyperdrive? Yeah, but okay. But he could still leave the planet or go somewhere else in the planet where he can't be found, and then he can sort of. You know, install the hyperdrive. Yeah? Oh, apparently the bonus mission is this. Uh, we need to hijack the older speeder. Hijacked. Oh! 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 What the? What the? I. What? 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 What's going on right now? I'm so confused. Whoa, that was. Kind of insane. Wow. Whoa. That's a big thing. Whatever that is. Why? Why are we even on a massive speeder right now? What? Why was that bonus mission? I. I don't get it. Why is everything popping out of existence? <gasps> the world's ending. You know, it so would have been quicker. Just a quick travel here. So what? What? What was the point in this? It. It would have saved so much time. So much time. Wait. Isn't my smuggler face? No, I was gonna say. Isn't my smuggler face over there? No, this is like a different smuggler phase, I guess. Up to the hangar. Skarvik, are you here, you son of a gun? Override the hangar lockdown. Well, of course, it's going to be enemies. How? Woo! Oh, a bonus mission to kill 10. Well, these seem easy to kill. Don't mind if I do. Need two more. There's supposed to be two more around here somewhere. Are they in here? Something tells me they are. I was wrong. Wait, hold on. Don't we get to go through there anyway? Oh, oh, you are here. Oh, hello. Oh, okay then. Howdy. And give me my bonus experience. Thank you very much. Are you not dead yet? Oh, I thought you were like the tenth person to die. Okay, that's fine. Accessing this. Well, crap. Hi. You didn't waste any time, did you, Captain? Bet you ran quicker than a Varactyl in hot sand. Not that it mattered. How does he always manage to get away? Yeah, sorry I can't be there in person, but my sweet little Neva is very sensitive to violence. Don't worry, though. My friends here will show you a good time. This is a preview of what I'm gonna do to you, Skavik. Hit it, man! Bow, 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 Oh no, that's not that's not hit it, but well, well, it reminded me of that song anyway. Consider your mercenaries dead. Because they're weak, they're not strong enemies. You're dead. And I would kill you a lot quicker, but unfortunately I've run out of energy. Skarvik, hello. 
You're either the luckiest shot in the galaxy, or those were some seriously unlucky mercenaries. <sighs> Guess I'll erase this hollow recording. Anybody who works for you dies. Got it? That's pretty hard on employee morale, you know that? Look, I hate to cut things short, but I got a swanky new hyperdrive to install. Love that Arcanian tech. You take good care of the rest of my stuff, Captain. I'll be coming for it soon. Just found out what's happening. Sorry I'm late. You the always are. The good news are. is, I tracked Skavik's ship to House Thule's spaceport. Ah! He must have gone there to finish installing that hyperdrive. There's still time to get him. Is Skavik a fast mechanic? He's handier with words than he is with a hydro spanner. The Empire controls House Thule. Skavik has landing clearance from the Imperials. But you'll have to sneak in on foot. Luckily, someone here owes me a big favor. I've arranged a meeting to sneak you inside that spaceport and get the hyperdrive. What if I don't make it back, Gorgeous? Will you miss me? Don't be ridiculous. You always survive. Aww. My contact is at these coordinates. Oh, and there may be a way we can profit from this whole debacle. House Alda still wants the head. That pompous gas bag Pima Ehof will probably pay anything to get it. She has high hopes for me. She thinks I'm gonna survive. My ship's cockpit needs decorating. I could hang the head there. Add a couple of matching throw pillows. Could be nice. Good luck, Captain. I'll be waiting. What the heck was that? Add in a nice bunch of throw pillows, it'll be nice! Good luck, Captain. I'll be waiting. What? What? Why? Why did she change her voice? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Have we got two missions? Just like we did with uh, my Sith Inquisitor. That's very weird. Okay, so payment due is over there, but where's payment in full? Doesn't seem like it's in the same area. Or maybe it is in the same area. I don't know. We'll find out. Hi, guess who's back? Back again. <coughs> uh, hello again, Captain. I understand Skavik has escaped. I was uh, truly sorry to hear that. Sure. I still have your head. Got anything useful to trade for it? We got off on the wrong foot, didn't we? I apologize if I was rude before. You must understand, the head of Darth Bandon is a priceless artifact. He was the Sith Lord who murdered one of Alderaan's noblest sons. Yada 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 trade. Centuries ago, Trask Ulgo bravely sacrificed himself in combat with Darth Bandon. Trask's martyrdom saved the Galactic Republic. I don't care about your history. Yes, I see that. I'm simply attempting to explain why the head is so important. Alderaan's current king is of the Ulgo family bloodline, and he reveres his ancestor Trask. The remains of Trask's murderer will be the perfect peace offering to our king. House Alda must have your head, <laughs> uh, so to speak. This head is going to cost you a lot. I was afraid you'd say that. Any payment in credits I give you for the head now will have to come from my own funds. I'm not a wealthy man. Please, I beg you, for the love of peace and posterity, please accept my offer of what little I possess. That depends which one I go for. One, two, or three. I'm gonna go for three! Keep your money. Peace and posterity are enough for me. What?! You... you truly mean it? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That was downright charitable of you, Captain. I hope this idiot appreciates it. I would kiss you, Captain, but I'm certain you would strike me for it. I must deliver this relic to the Baron at once. Thank you again. First of all, remember, Howlow is bisexual, so you go ahead. Two, WHAT?! Are you- I, th I thought three would be like a dark side option, like, I'll take everything you have! But, uh, but- <laughs> what? Hello? Why did you do that? I guess if we're going to explain what the hell just happened there, Howlo was taking him for a ride. Was being all like, oh, well, I'll take everything that you have. You know what? I'm just kidding. Have it for free. I don't want it. All I wanted was a hyperdrive anyway, so. <sighs> God damn it, Howlo. Wait, so where are we going? Uh. I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? I'm always doing that. I always think I need to go up here and up there to go over there, but no. 
I need to actually go this way and then go up there. Also, I do think Bioware needs to do a legacy map unlock button now for the for Kotet. Like, if you've explored an area, then it should be unlocked for any other characters. Like the legacy Datacrons, you know? You could still go and get experience for exploring that area, but if you've got legacy unlock, you know, unlocked, then you get to see the entire map. You've got the achievement, so you can sort of see the entire map. Why not? You don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can explore on every single character if you want to. But again, if you want to, you could just use the legacy unlock. Also, if there is one thing that does confuse me, the whole idea of Skarvik stopping literally over there is he's basically just gone up, gone like a few meters, and drop down again. That's that's like in walking terms. It 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 makes no sense, Garvik. Hopefully by the end of this mission as well, I should be level 29. Next week is going to be a pretty big week uh, for the Sith Inquisitor and the uh, Smuggler because because I'm not going to tell you. I will. Okay, so I'm going to do all the flashpoints. I'm going to do the foundry and the Melshon prison flashpoints and all that. All next week. So, pretty exciting, huh? And why am I doing them? Because it's one of the achievements for the Dark Wizard Light. Yeah, I know. I only have to do, like, one set. I, even, I have to just either do the Republic side or the Imperial side for one set. But, I feel like, well, both sides might as well do it. Because it will make sense, you know. It just makes sense to this way. If you're following both, it'll make sense to the story to do both. So, you know. Aw, oh, poor droid's dead. Oh, no. Where are we even going? Oh, we're in a cave. Okay, we've gone down, have we? There. Better? Not really, because I still haven't got my hyperdrive. Don't you kill the droids, you thaw gorillas. Oh, bonus mission to kill ten. Doing that. Only because I kind of need to on the way anyway. Uh, right, the hideout. Are you in here, Skarvik? No, you're not. Reinforcements are coming. Don't let them kill me. Okay. I'll try my best. But that might not be the case. As long as the defense turrets aren't attacking me. Ooh, bonus mission is nearly done. I'll take some experience, thanks. Okay, well, I'm not, Scarvik's not in here because I totally didn't pay attention to the story. Uh, I need to get rid of all this junk yeah, as well. Picture. Any new abilities? Any new abilities? We have Smuggler's Luck. Increases the critical hit chance for your next set. Ooh, that's kind of good. I'll probably forget about that ability, but never mind. There's men were coming to kill me. You've arrived just in time. A human that speaks a different language. What's wrong? You're too good to speak basic? This planet is full of eavesdroppers, but few who comprehend this language. Our business... Okay. I possess an Imperial transmitter that will send an all-access signal to the Thor spaceport security doors. You'll have... Once inside, I recommend committing your crimes discreetly and getting out before anyone notices. If I needed luck, I'd already be dead. I expect we should turn over every recording on the vacation in I'm sick of her blackmailing me. What kind of galaxy is it when a man can enjoy himself on holiday? Well, sometimes you can't help that. Right, where am I going now? So I've saved him. I've got to go all the way up there. We're nearly done, guys. We're nearly done. Okay, now we've got to go back down and over the bridge. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. There's an outpost here as well. Ah. If I didn't have to make that pit stop, I could have just gone to this outpost. Well, I might as well go and explore it quickly. Come on, explore. Oh, you already explored. Okay. Oh, 10 frames per second. How delicious. 40 frames, 49, 48, 56. Okay, you're sort of slowly going back up, but why is, why is the planet shaking? Oh, oh, 8 frames per second. Yay, how delicious. Wait, I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way! No! And we shall enter the smuggler phase. Hello, people. Hello, hello. Uh, so there's some patrol guards and some people who I can see were in stealth. Which I kind of wish right. I could be, but I can't. And I've been seen by both sets of people! Of uh, droids! They're not people, they're droids. 
<sighs> well, at least that be a bonus mission. Yeah, I could deal with it, I guess. Did I seriously just attract the attention of that droid over there? Oh, really? All because a bloody shot went past you? Oh, frickity fine. Oh, and you've seen me as well, have you? Anyone else want to accidentally see me too? Anyone else? Anyone? Okay, only five more needs to kill. Well, you're one. And you can be two, three, four, five. Ah! Oh, some's dropped from the sky, have they? Oh, okay. Well, that's slightly screwed up my numbers. Might as well recuperate before I kill these guys and get my bonus experience because I'm running out of energy. In real life and in game. Give me my experience, please. Thank you. Ooh, 9,000 experience. How delightful. Ooh, I'm definitely going to use Smuggler's Luck. Which abilities? Arm shot, sabotage charge, or wounding shots? Um. Which, which, which ones? So, none of these abilities then? None of them? Okay, well, that was pointless. Okay, Skarik! I'm here for you! Can I kill you once and for all, finally? It'd be good if I could. It'd be great if I could, actually. Better? Kind of. I will be once Skarvik's dead. Uh, I need that over there. Cool! Hi, Probe! Okay. Here we go! Skarvik, you better be here for me to kill you! Where's Skavik? I'd like to chat. Nakag Agib. He took a shuttle off world to get supplies. Please don't kill me! My name's Von Deidu, Brimro. I fixed our ship. Skavik kidnapped me. One minute we were drinking Corellian whiskey at the cantina, the next I was his prisoner. Never drink with someone you don't know. After this, I'll never drink again. I heard you and Skarvek arguing on the ship's hollow. You want the Arcanian hyperdrive? Take it! The Spacebook comm channel now says a shuttle leaving in a few minutes. I could be on it if I hurry. You're not going anywhere until you junk Skavik's starship for me. But it will take too long! I'll miss the shuttle! There's another shuttle soon. That's easy for you to say. I'll fry the ship's power couplings and trash the sensor arrays. That'll ground Skarvik. Okay, well, I'll protect you in the meantime. Ooh. Wow, you practically destroyed everything anyway. Okay. Um, you go do that. I'll protect you from this massive ship. Ew. Die, Abyssin mercenary. Die. Is that how you say it? Abyssin? Abyssin? I don't know. Uh, okay, I've got to protect him again. Alright, from a little more powerful enemy, I imagine. No, just the same exact enemies as before. Cool. Oh god, they're getting plentiful in number. Very plentiful in number. I need some more energy. I'm going to put my dodge up just because I can. Wow, they are really dropping down like flies now. Hi, pilot. How are you? Oh, I'm, I've been stunned. How great. You done yet? Done? Speak with Von Dado. Yay, we're done. Stop running. I want to talk to you. There, I did like you asked. Can I please go? That depends. Start running, and you might just make it. I hope there's another shuttle leaving soon. This isn't a friendly place for non-humans to hide out. The hyperdrive is all yours. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, we're not going to kill Skarvik. Ah. Thank the stars. We're in desperate need, and you're the only one we can turn to. Ah. Why don't you tell me who you are first? Sidonia and Len Tehran. Are you receiving a clear transmission? Kind of. The people with the droid. Sorry, I have a short memory. <laughs> How gratifying to know I'm so easily forgotten. Eubelis <laughs> was offended by your visit to our former home. He's demanding satisfaction. Satisfaction. The Duke is sending his son, Zin Bayliss, Alderaan's finest marksman, to challenge me to a pistol duel to the death. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Our friendship doesn't have to end. You could, I don't know, offer to fight for me. Doesn't that sound friendly? Eh. My brother never mastered the art of the blaster. He can't possibly face Zin. 
Unless we find a champion to take Lin's place, he's as good as dead. Please, will you be our champion? What's the upside for me? We'll reward you well to fight on my brother's behalf. Please, come to House Organa at once. Zin will arrive any moment, and you must be here to meet him. Okay, fine, fine. Ooh! A jacket for me! How exciting! This episode's not going to end until I'm done on Alderaan, so... Over we go. Alright, I'm here to save the day for the quintillionth, fillionth, trillionth, killionth time. There. Better? No. Just in time. We were, uh, <laughs> about to start without you. My name's called Harlow, uh, actually. House Duran's champion finally arrives. Is this common thug truly the best you people could do? Excuse me. Nice robes, pal. Sew them yourself? Inform your simple-minded servant he should not speak. I have no compunction about killing your second first. Simple-minded servant. He's got you pegged, Corso. I'll be sure to rush you to a Colto tank next time you lose a fight. <laughs> you must be the vermin who invaded my family's home and stole our property. You've saved me the trouble of hunting down and executing you. You won't last two seconds against me. Oh, I'll last a lot longer than that. But you won't. Okay, we'll see. Whoa, Corso, where the hell do you think you're going? Okay, well, let's drop that. Okay, you're already being stunned. That's good news for me. Okay, drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that. And why not strangle you for your last moments of life? Done. Yep, cheer for me. Hooray, 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 hooray. I'm trying to talk to you, damn it. You saved my brother's life. Not only that, you did it with style. Where did you learn to fight like that? Well, it's called having a legacy. Little here, little there. Mostly I make things up as I go. Ah, so you're classically trained? Yeah, yeah, there yeah. There are no words to express our gratitude. This reward will have to suffice. You could kiss my wounds and make them better. I would happily oblige if our circumstances permitted. My brother and I must flee House Organa. It's only a matter of time before House Bayless makes another move against us. Why don't you come with me? It's probably safer. For us, but not for you. I'm sorry, but it's better if we go. Captain, we will always remember you as our champion. Farewell. Bye. Ah, I don't get to have sex with her anymore. What a shame. Oh well, there's always Risha. Uh, so, whoa. Whoa, Charlie. That was totally inappropriate. I've got to get my affection up first. God. Oh, well, that's lovely. What a lovely view we got here and some lovely text to inform us on absolutely anything about this game. Beautiful. Okay, Risha, am I right in knowing that we are done? I've never been so happy to see a starship part in all my life, but I'm even happier to see you in one piece. How about a kiss for coming back alive? I'm excited to see you, but not that excited. Oh. I have to hand it to you, Captain. You not only took care of business, but you made Skavik look like a fool. I worked his ship over pretty good. He'll probably just steal a new one, but at least he's a few steps behind us. I'm glad we're done here. It's funny. I can't help thinking Nokdrayan would have hated this world as much as I do. Legend is, Nok was descended from royal blood. They say that's how he got to be king of the galactic underworld before he died. Blood doesn't determine someone's fate. Tell that to the scum Nock Drain wiped out on his way to the top. It won't take long to wire the Arcanian hyperdrive to the ship's engines and the anti-radiation shield will be a snap to build. Is there some reason I need anti-radiation shielding? You could never have too much protection. Didn't they teach you that in freighter captain school? I'll have those upgrades online in... wait. Hang on. Oh, this ought to be good. Hello, Skavik. How's tricks? Just fantasizing about killing you and your friends, sweetheart. Want to hear the details? Did you like those special modifications I made to your ship? You mean Senator Taltaf from Alzog 3 Starship? I'll make sure your name comes up when he files his insurance claim. Oh. Haven't you learned yet, Skavik? Cheaters never win. We're leaving Alderaan with all the prizes, and you're... well... stuck being you. Have fun while it lasts, kids. The end of the ride is coming soon. Dun dun dun! <laughs> You know that old saying, it never rains but it pours? Today it's pouring hollow calls. I'm getting one from Tatooine of all places. 
Jiren, I haven't seen you in forever. I'd love to catch up, but this isn't the best time. Someone took Aldila. Said I'll get her back in pieces if you don't come. Pieces! You have to help me. Pieces! Wait, let me guess. Someone is in trouble and you're gonna ask me to help. You're a quick study, Captain. Jiren, I won't let anything happen to you or Adila. Calm down and start over. When I came home from work, uh, Adila was gone. There was a man waiting for me. He said unless you want to be responsible for Adila's death, you'll meet him at an old Zerga mining complex in the Chini Rift. I don't understand, Risha. Why is this happening? It's a trap, obviously. But my odds of surviving and getting Adila back alive are a lot better if you help me spring it. I like your sentimental side. Enjoy it while it lasts. I only show it once a year. Duran, stay on this hollow frequency. Let me get in touch with some contacts. We have to play this smart. All right. I dug up everything I could about the Chini Rift and that Zerka mining complex. I'd say we've got a 50-50 shot at coming back alive. Lovely odds. I don't know about you, but I'll definitely come out alive. Glad to know you've got my back. Chini Rift has more holes in it than a chunk of Biss cheese. The Zerka mining complex sits over a network of caverns. Zerka sealed the complex's mine shaft when they left, but didn't bother with the ore processing chute. You can use that to get inside. And then what? That man will kill Ardila if we try anything. I'll keep this mysterious kidnapper distracted by surrendering to him, while my friend sneaks up behind. I don't like this. Using women for bait? What kind of man allows that? It's HER IDEA! What's the big deal? It's not gentlemanly! Am I the last person in the galaxy with good manners? Stop being you a feminist! Much, Corso. Feel free to jump in front of any blaster bolts coming my way. What can I do to help? Nothing. I'm not explaining to Adila how I got you killed. Just wait outside and be ready to give her a kiss. I marked a route through the caverns to the ore chute, Captain. I'll give you a head start to get in position. I really, really, really are starting to like dislike Corso. Really am. He's just whole stance on women. I know, yeah, okay. Some women are helpless. Some of them are. But majority of the women in Star Wars can fend for themselves. Did you not know that, Corso? They can look after themselves. Anyway, next time, we're not going to go to Tatooine. We are going to go and do the flashpoints we need to for which, for the achievement. So, yeah. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time, and a farewell to you.